here it's true that once you say what you're going to do, the Satan doesn't leave you alone. The Gemara says, פגע בך מנוול זה מושכהו לבית המדרש. If this bastard, excuse my language, came to you on the way, at drag him to the yeshiva. Who are they talking about? The Yetzer Ara, the Satan. <laughs> Take him, learn with him Hevruta. Take him to the yeshiva, learn with him Hevruta. What do you mean? <laughs> the Satan comes to the yeshiva, he gets nervous. The Gemara says, there was, there was a rab, his name was Flamo, Flamo. You heard about him? Flamo used to say, I wish an arrow will go right in between the eyes of the Satan. Satan used to get very upset. If it was just another ignorant cursing me, the Satan said, nah, I'll take care of him sooner or later. <laughs> but this Rav, why is cursing me? He doesn't know I'm the messenger of God. Why is cursing me? He got offended. It shows the Satan has feelings. The Gemara says, one time the Satan said, you know what, I can't take this anymore. I cannot take this anymore. I'm going to show this Rav, who am I? The Satan put a custom like he's a beggar, a homeless. He knocks on his door, Rabbi Flamo, yes, I'm dying, please feed me. Looks full of boogies, pimples, pus coming all over, didn't take a shower for a year. So Flamo said, okay, I'll go, I'll stay right here, I'm going to bring you food. The Satan goes in. He sits by the table, I'm not going to eat outside. You eat inside, I eat outside. Put the food right here. Imagine somebody break like this into your house. They sit over there together. He just looks at him, he almost vomits. Then, guess what? <laughs> the Satan takes a tissue out. It's, a, it's an old man. He goes like this. <laughs> He cleaned all the boogies and put it right next to Playmo's plate. <laughs> Believe me, it happened in my house with some of my guests. <laughs> a pile of tissue in the Shabbos table. Derech <laughs> Eretz, what can you do? It's all from Shamayim, Nisayon. So, <laughs> Playmo couldn't hold himself. He said, excuse me, sir. Derech Eretz! What? Ah, he got a heart attack. He fell on the floor and died. Satan has power. A moment after, Flamo said, well, I'm going to hide him now. Hashem knows I didn't kill him, but the people are going to think I killed my guest. <laughs> then the Satan sees scared. The Satan make noises coming from the window. Did you hear what happened? Flamo killed this poor person. He heard like this. It was Erev Yom Kippur. Erev Yom Kippur, we came to him. Imagine. He started to run like crazy, running out to the bathroom. Where was the bathroom? I remember in the old days you did not have your bathroom in your house. It was out of the city. They didn't want to smell, you know, what's going on over there. So they made it a little bit far from the town. So he ran, he ran over there, he was hiding over there. Poor Flamo, he spent his Yom Kippur inside the bathroom. <laughs> By the end of the Yom Kippur, the, well, guess what he sees? Like this Chaim Blank, he showed up to Shachri, the Satan showed up in the bathroom, the, the poor person. I thought you died. No, no, I'm the Satan. But I came to tell you, my friend, don't ever start with me. I was merciful with you until today. I cannot stand your curses. So, so what do you want, how do you want me <laughs> to, to challenge you? He said, you can say nice things to me, but don't get me upset. And the Satan left him. Ah, left him. So what do we see? There are things we don't understand. The same thing Eliyahu Navi, by the way. Gemara says, I think it was of the biggest Chachamim that he had a rule. He said, listen, his father, before he was born, his father said, I will never sell in my store afternoon on Erev Shabbos. Friday, I close my business early and I go to prepare for Shabbat. That's it. I don't care, customers coming, no, nothing, I don't care. One time, the Satan said, let's test this Chacham. We'll see how, how loyal he is to his promises. He came to his store, he sees suits. He said, I want to buy a large uh, amount of, uh, of suits, but it's going to take me some time, you know, I got a check. 
So go ahead, but I want you to know that at one o'clock it's Jewish chatzot in the midday. I must close my business. We have half an hour. Please finish by then. So the guy said, <laughs> finish by then. When he see how many suits I want to buy, he will stay with me until the moment before Shabbat. So he makes another suit, and another one, and another one, and another. Psh, the sale of the year. Then he says, sir, I have five minutes. Five minutes to close the store. Say, so, yeah, yeah, okay, I hear you. One minute to close the store. We put five more suits. He says, sir, we have to close. Okay, okay, let's go over the bill. So no, cannot receive your money today anymore. That's it. What do you mean? Okay, just tell me how much I'll pay you. No. Business is closed. Come back tomorrow. Come back Sunday. Sunday I'm not in town. I'm sorry. I prepared you half an hour in advance. I didn't take you seriously. Come on. What is this? Don't be so picky. Left. Two minutes. We'll finish. Let me pay. No. Yes. No. I don't want to sell. He said, Mazal Tov. I'm Eliyahu Anavi, the customer. And I came to tell you, you're going to have a son that will light the eyes of the generation. I think his son was one of the biggest Chachamim. I wish I remember which Chacham he was. One of the biggest of that generation. Why? You never know who is the person you speak to. It could be Eliyahu Anavi. You don't know. Eliyahu, it could be a minute before Shabbat, somebody knock on your door. It could be Eliyahu Navi. You know who it is? You don't know. 